I'm at the Jersey City Public Library with Jillian Povey. Hi Jillian. Hi Taryn, how are you doing today? I'm alright. What programs did you use to create most of your portraits? I mostly used Illustrator, but I arranged some stuff on Photoshop first. I've been working with Photoshop for about four years, maybe a little longer than that, and Illustrator for about one and a half years. So this one is titled Tongue of Pogo. What were you trying to accomplish with making this piece? I wanted to show people how long my tongue was. And in here you're depicted as an angel. What was the purpose of this? Basically, I'm just a fallen angel. And what about the first bite? Here you're seen as a vampire. I like to have long, sharp teeth, and I thought it would be nice to draw myself with long, sharp teeth. So I drew a victim, and I was biting him in the picture. And over here we have you as a mermaid. Um, was there any reason you made this one? Yeah, it kind of reminded me of what Betty Page would look like as a mermaid. <laughs> so what inspired you to make this one, the Daydreamer piece? Well, I'm a real daydreamer. I'm always thinking about the future, thinking about, you know, what I can do to make my life better, what I can become, make of myself. And <laughs> I just drew stars. <laughs> I was just trying to show perspective, basically, what it would look like if I'm about to punch someone in the face. And the Crucify, is there any kind of, like, significant meaning with it? Yeah, because I'm so goth, society is crucifying me. If I would have been able to choose a year to die, it would have been 1969, even though I was born in 1985. I used to watch a lot of Pinky and the Brain, and I'm actually planning to take over the world. And sometime in the near future, I should be in charge of the whole world. This one actually seems a little bit different from your other ones. It's a little bit more detailed. Is there any difference to you in any significance? This one I just really wanted to show just me, plain and simple just the way I really look, and I dedicated it to my wonderful boyfriend. <laughs> I have uh, purple streaks in my hair because I'm good at dyeing hair, and I used to have purple streaks in my hair, so, and it has a purple background to go with the purple streaks. What made you choose the shape and the size of that sword? It was just the last minute thing. I had to finish the piece in about five minutes and print it out. So I basically just took the pen tool, made it all funky, and it didn't look that bad. Not that bad. <laughs>